are watching construction tech today we will see rcc slab requirement and curtailment rules now what is the minimum reinforcement in slab it is 0.15% of gross cross sectional area of slab if we use plain bars and 0.12% if we use high yield strength deformed bars or HYSD bars is commonly named. Spacing of reinforcement, it is known as pitch. Okay, main, main tensile reinforcement shall not be more than the thrice of the effective depth or 450 mm, whichever is less. This is the two criteria. First one is 450 mm and thrice the effective depth if whichever is less we have to take it second portion is distribution bars shall not be more than the five times the effective depth or 450 mm this is the two criteria for distribution bar first one is five times the effective depth and second one is 450 mm whichever is less we have to consider it now the cover what cover you have to give at the edges should not be less than 25 mm or two times the diameter of the bar whichever is more if 25 mm is more it, it has to be considered if two times the diameter is more it has to be considered in edges and minimum cover in tension compression shear region is 15 mm or less than the diameter of the bar whichever is more <coughs> First one is 15 mm and second one is the diameter of the bar whichever is more. If 15 mm is more it, it has to be considered. If diameter is more than 15 mm that cover you have to give. Now diameter, what diameter you have to use minimum. Main bars should be more than 8 mm in HYSD and 10 mm in plain bar. <coughs> Distribution bar should be more than 6 mm. Okay, this is the second criteria. The diameter of the bar shall not be more than the 1 eighth of the thickness of the slab. This is the maximum 1 eighth of the thickness of the slab. Okay, maximum diameter you can use. Now, one way slab. What is one way slab? First, we have to see it. If the effective length, the effective length is more than the two times the effective width of the slab, C L is two times greater than B. This is called one way slab. Okay. The bars in short, the bars in shorter direction is called main bars. This is main bars in this criteria. This is in a shorter direction. Okay. It is placed at the most bottom of the slab. Then this is called distribution bar. It is placed at a <coughs> above the main reinforcement. Okay. Now two way slab. Two way slab. In this length, it will be lesser than two times the breadth. Two way slab. In this length is lesser than two times the breadth the bars in both the direction are considered as main bars generally the bars in shorter span is placed at the bottom and bars in longer span placed about it if both the dimensions are same one has to be placed at bottom and second one has to be placed at top not to worry about it now minimum thickness of thickness of slab it is 125 mm there are many design criteria for it but the minimum thickness should be more than 125 mm okay now the curtailment rules you have to see one diagram for it <coughs> This is the curtailment rule 
for slab see it is discontinuous edge here nothing is there so the bar starts from here and bends at point 1 l1 this is the effective length of this pan it should be more than <coughs> point 1 l1 it bends here at 45 degree or 30 degree and continue up to the center of the beam okay the second bar will start from this direction it will it will take point 3 l2 of this pan and you have to add this beam length and this will be point 15 l1 it should be more than that minimum is point 15 l1 <coughs> it went from here and it will move towards the center of the beam the pitch whatever i have explained earlier in this <coughs> video, the starting of this should not be more than half of the pitch the starting bar should not be more than this okay these are the minimum criteria in slab thanking for you watching this video please subscribe to our channel to get the daily updates on our next video